Charlene Shaherless. Why'd I get mixed up with that bitch? Because she's got a great ass! And you got your head all the way up it! Ferocious, aren't I? When I think of asses, women's ass, something comes out of me. So? So? No big thing. All I want is her husband and his old fucking crew. In three, two, one, we are back with another episode, and today we are talking about, you know what? By the time I get to Phoenix! Wait, hold, yep. hold, hold on. We are talking about what is considered one of the biggest travesties in modern cinema. A crime, a crime against humanity, I tell you. Yeah. The fact that the movie Heat, Heat, was never nominated for an Oscar, let alone any other freaking award. No Golden Globe, no none SAG. Of, none of the celebrated, no Razzie. respected, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Uh, Academy yes. uh, award bodies. Yes. And we're going to tell you why that is. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Bon voyage, motherfucker. You were good. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the hotel. I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to sleep. For a month. All right, there's going to be a lot of that. Okay. Mm. But let's get into the nitty gritty, as they say. Now, we consider heat to be what? The greatest. The greatest. The greatest crime thriller. Cops all, and robbers. Of all time. Pop, pop. I consider it to be an almost perfect film. I love it. It's in my top 10. Me too. There's so many things about it which are so standout, so groundbreaking. Yet, yet... Not a peep, not a like, peep. not a, not a, like a, a, any like inkling of recognition for this film. Why do you think that is? Why don't you hit me with your first point? Well, I think first of all, oh yes, <laughs> I think first of all, the Academy Awards are riddled with an overdose of pretentiousness. Have always been, by the way, have always been. Okay. And I think this reached like fever pitch in the '90s when they showed. An inherent bias towards, you know, pomposity in filmmaking. What do you mean by that? Films that are boring, not cool. Well, hold on, hold and, on, and hold on, hold on, hold on. These things are subjective. No, 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 they're not subjective. By Give the me way. an example. I looked at the Academy Award nominations for Best Picture in 1996, which is the year in which Heat would have fallen under that okay. category. Okay, with the exception of Braveheart, which I think has stood the test of time. Okay, the other nominations of Best Picture were Apollo 13, mm -hmm. okay, Biopic, Fine. right? That's always an easy... I mean, Braveheart e was like, you know, what? It's, it's like the people's favorite. I like Braveheart, I'm saying with the exception of Braveheart. Fine. Okay, I don't think I Apollo... I should listen more. Apollo anyway, 13 is a good film. It's not a great film. Right. Right? What else? Babe. Amazing. Are you kidding me? Yes. Sense and Sensibility. Okay. Listen, I'm not trying to denigrate... Jane Austen or, you know... Yes, you uh, are. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. But I'm Fine. saying, you know, such an obvious, predictable nomination. I mean, right. all, those films always get nominations. Okay, right? so what It's the low-hanging is... fruit of nominations to, you know, adapt something from Jane Austen or uh, Henry James. All right, some like, or, some like uh, already well-known IPs, basically, absolutely. where they know for certain these films are going to do well. Absolutely. Jane Austen, you know... William Wallace, people love it. If you make period dramas, if you make a with a bit of, you know what? If you make a, a you know what? The formula for getting award, Academy Please. Award nominations and victories: biopic, boring, long, okay, unsexy, right, uncool. These are the formulas to make. And when to, to, to win, okay, fine. That's for best. No picture. question. And I guess for actor, like if you play some, you know, notable historical figure. Yeah, or you're somebody who's like, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, Riddled with some sort of malady or... Um... Right, right, right. But don't go full retard. <laughs> I see. I see uh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> anyway, okay. So... By the time I get to Phoenix, he'll be rising. He'll probably leave a note right, right on, on the, the door. door. Did you fall in love last night? <laughs> Tell me what you Show me you got! I was going to rock the table, but you're going to get upset. Yes, we I destroy am, the uh, uh, yeah. production no, design. No, 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 the production design. High set. quality, very expensive production. Okay, so listen. By the way, before we get delve further into this subject, 
there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube about yeah. how amazing Heat is. So we're not going to get into that. We are specifically talking about why it didn't get nominated. So your first reason being that the Academy likes pretentious films. The Academy loves pretentious films. Fine. The more pretentious the film, the more boring the film. Okay. The more mundane, the more tragic sure. the film. Although this is actually a... It is a kind of... It is tragic. Tragic in yeah. a sense. Yeah. Well, it's not fully tragic because there's two... Like heroes, one that's the good hero and one that's the yeah. Bad well, hero. you know what? We that's love both one of, that's, and that's you know what? I mean, why did it not win best screenplay, for example? Because Agreed. that concept of them mirroring each other, Absolutely. basically being the same person, blurring the lines between good and evil, Correct. both of them sacrificing everything for their careers, Correct. only their jobs matter, whether Correct. it's their family, their friends, Correct. their lives in the end. Correct. Right. Correct. And and the fact and I love those scenes where like. You know, uh, Vincent Hanna's crew, played by Al Pacino, which is the cop, you know, is checking out Neil McCauley's crew, Amazing. which is uh, Robert De Niro. And they're basically the same sort of personalities. I of got an idea of what they're looking at. You want to know what they're looking at? Say what? What? Sorry. <laughs> I mean, is this guy something or is he something? <laughs> this crew is good. You want to know what they're looking at? What? Us. The LAPD Police Department. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so there's a lot of that. Okay! <laughs> okay! Come All right. Okay. Anyway, so that, like, yes. So just for that alone, it should be winning. Like, you know, it's not even nominated for Best Screenplay. And let's not even get into sound design. For those of you who know, uh, you've seen that big gun shootout. Even that, like, you know, there's that little scene at the beginning where this, where they like, there's a heist around the security truck, and it rams into that like yeah. that giant pole, yeah. and like suddenly it goes all silent. Yeah, you know, it goes from this loud noises of engines and gunshots, just si like all of these like little details, like sound design, sound design. Who are the, like, who was nominated for sound design? That these if guys you allow me to bring up my notes. No, I don't I allow shall, you. Should I know. shall tell you now. Oh, fucking <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right. Well, Braveheart. Braveheart. I mean, come on. That gun, sh the, the shootout scene right at the end. Apollo come 13 on, 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 on. won for best You've sound. You've never heard anything like that. Batman Forever was I'm nominated for best sound. Hell. Crimson Tide. Okay, i got to give it to Crimson Tide. That's a great Okay, fine. It's not better than film. Heat, though. No, it's not better than Heat. And Waterworld. That might be better than Heat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. So those are two reasons. In terms of character so development, yeah. for sure. So, yeah. so, so, so again, weak, weak. Uh, it's up again, weak yeah, competition. Absolutely. How does that work? Not only in best picture, but also in sound design. Correct. And cinematography. Correct. And like the editing is excellent. Director. Director. Who else was nominated? The same guys who were like nominated absolutely. for best picture. Mel Gibson won for director. Obviously. Which <clears throat> is not, I mean, this is, uh, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it was a hell of a directorial uh, feat, Braveheart, but I don't think it supersedes uh, Michael Mann and Heat. But I, I guess it's maybe because they like Braveheart was something like people hadn't seen before. Maybe well, they've seen it in like no, I get it, but like things like Spartacus. I get it, like but ben like Hur, but, but but yes, but it brought but, back the kind but, of yes, but Braveheart took it to another level yes. and made it ultra violent. Right, yes. there's a lot of yes. blood. There's like arm yeah. chopping off. That was known for that, yeah. and plus it was not as cerebral as maybe Spartacus. You know, it was a bit more of a popcorn film. It was a bit, yeah, it was okay. a bit more action, a bit more like, you know, yeah. stylistic, if you will, okay. you know. Um, so, yeah, maybe that's the reason why. But like, okay, let's move on to like now best performances, right? Yeah. Not one nomination. That's incredible. That's incredible, that's incredible. right? And then you can say like, okay, fine. Maybe Pacino is not at his best. Maybe De Niro, although they're fucking great. I think, I, well, you know what? Like Pacino's bombastic performance yes. and it's 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 proper bombast yes proper bombast but he's very good has actually been has actually been explained because obviously he's got these kind of like erratic right um explosive tendencies that erupt at any one time as i've been mimicking in the first 10 oh, minutes and then i didn't notice you didn't notice that. No, go on. <laughs> yeah go on <laughs> anyway and the backstory for the vincent hannah character is that he was actually a coke addict okay so, Why didn't they show him doing coke then? I don't know. I think they thought that it might impact on... The nominations that it never got. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Okay, maybe. Um, but aside from them, let's look at... Empathy was yesterday. Today, you're wasting my motherfucking time. Exactly. <laughs> no, but now let's look at some of the other uh, actors. I mean, forget about De Niro and I, Pacino. Okay, so... Look I, at the female so, Okay, cast. by the way, with De, Niro, amazing. with De Niro and Pacino, as you know, right... 
people do get voter fatigue. Fine. De Niro won his elusive Oscar All right. a couple of years prior for Scent of a Woman. So they're going to kind of, you know, they're going to move on. Fine, to fine. New. But like, we're not even talking about the I think winning. the supporting We're cast talking is... about nominations. Yes, they agree. weren't even nominated. Okay, let's talk about the, the females in this film, yeah. but the, the actors. Uh, they're amazing. Amy Brenneman, who plays uh, Edie. Edie, I think she's incredible. Yeah. And in fact, one of my... Talk about details. Yeah. I love that scene and remind me. Yes. It's when they're in the bar, Robert De Niro is there and he's looking at that book and it's on like... Book, sto- book, book about medals. A book about medals. Why are you, so, lo- inter- why are you so interested in I love that. I love that detail. Yeah. I love that detail. Okay. Why? Why is it such a good detail? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes in films, you know, sometimes there's an X factor that you can't explain, but it just works. It just works so well. And for some reason that like stuck in my head that he's checking out this book. It's, Obviously, authentic, it's, for... authentic, it's authentic dialogue. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Very good. Now, okay, so she's one. Who else? There's Natalie Portman who plays uh, the My step, favorite step actress of all time. Is she? Yeah. Really? No. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But maybe perhaps, you know, a bit too young. Yeah, she was maybe a bit she too young. She has too... Too, too few scenes in okay, the film. Okay, fine, fine. And then who else? Uh, Dan Venora, who plays uh, Justine, um, Al Pacino's yes, character. Yes, who's wife. really good as well. Yeah, she's excellent. You know. Excellent. Was that line? Stoned on uh, Grass and Prozac. Yeah. Do you remember when she has an you affair know. towards the end of the film? I told you, when we hooked up, baby, you're going to have to share me with all the bad people <laughs> and all the ugly events on this planet. And I bought into that sharing because mm-hmm. I love you, old, fat, driving a bus. She's so good. That's such a good scene. But you have to be here like a normal person some of the time. I see. So what am I supposed to say? Come back home and say, uh, Hi, honey. Um, <laughs> I just came back visiting some guy who microwaved his baby. <laughs> so let me share that with you. And, and together. You doing and cathartically <laughs> dispel all that anus shit. Because I got to hold on to my angst. I preserve it because I need it. It keeps me sharp on the edge where I got to be. All right, very good. Shit, I'm gonna watch it now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay. And aside from that, even the male uh, supporting actors, Kilmer, Kilmer. I By think the way, he's even I always Kil- Kilmer. He's got this like weird funky elbow yeah, it's that true. like protrudes. And it's actually, true. if you watch him in Island of Doctor Moreau, which came out soon after, yeah. he he's wearing this like elbow oh, really? brace. So it's I not, think to hide that. It's not he part must, of ca- the character. No, the I think there's something up with something happened with the injury. Kevin Spacey won uh, Best Supporting Actor for Usual Suspects. Fine, So you can't have much dispute on that. Yes. But we're talking about nominations, I agree with you. Um, and um, I wouldn't say any of the female characters would have been in Danny line. Danny Trejo, whatever his Trejo. name is. Trejo. No, Trejo. it's all, is it, Danny, is it, oh yes. He plays... Um, yeah, he dies quite quickly. Uh, what's his name? Wayne Grow as well, amazing. Who's amazing. that actor? Uh, Tom Sizemore, Excellent. very good. And, and my, my personal favorite sporting actor of them all. Which one? John Voight. John Voight. And don't forget, who's the Silence yeah. of the Lambs guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays a Bosco. He's uh, so is, good. Is He's excellent. so good. But nobody better than Tone Loke, I would say. I agree. He should you. have been nominated. I agree. I agree. What was the Tone Loke line? Then some two 9-11 slopes. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to rid yourself of your competition. <laughs> T- tell me you're a good citizen. I'm a good citizen. I'm Donald Duck. <laughs> I do after you tell me what the fuck I want to know. <laughs> Rap motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. I'm telling you, the slick has got something going on. <laughs> what do you want for that? Junior G Man badge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Methamphetamine okay. was yesterday. Today, you're wasting my motherfucking time. Okay. So listen, we need to keep. We listen. We Sorry. Yes, this show can't just be all impersonations. We're, we're as much as I love it. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, okay. So those. So yeah, those guys weren't even nominated. You know. Why is that? I want to know why. The film is too cool for school. Mm. It's the coolest motherfucking film maybe ever made. It's I think the you're coolest motherfucking film. And you know what? I think you're onto You know what? There. The Academy don't vote cool. They don't like cool. They don't like cool. That's what I'm saying to you. No cool. What do, look at Best Picture winners. Look at Best Picture nominees every year. Yeah. I remember as a teenager back when this film came out. Let me just... Pulp Fiction didn't win. Exactly. What won that year? It was Gump. Gump. Right? <laughs> Schindler's List the year before that. Right? There you go. They don't Silence like cool of film. the Lambs is an unusual one that was kind of a cool film, um, very violent, that actually won well, Best Picture. Well, I wouldn't picture. say it's cool. What's cool no, about I mean, it? No, I mean, there's it's, nothing it's, cool about it. You don't like think, oh, I want to be like that but guy. But it's very violent. It's very, I want to be like... Very violent, very like intense, very scary. Yeah, fine. Okay, but like Shakespeare in Love, is that a cool film? No. No. Um, 
All right. I don't so, know. Yeah. Shine? Did Shine I win Best Picture? I don't think Shine won Best Picture. Did I convince you? convinced me. You're right. They don't like cool. The Shape of Water. Is that a cool film? No, but it's quite... No. Empathy was yesterday. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. Strap, I mean, let's, listen, while you're on the impersonations, let me say this. Oh, and just another one. Another one. One of the big travesties of all time. Goodfellas, one of the coolest films ever. Yeah. Right? I mean... Maybe the coolest Kudo, film. Kudos that it got, it got an Academy Award nomination. Yeah. What did it lose to? Tell me. What did it lose to? Uh... Dance with Wolves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you know what? It's interesting. I, I mean, cut. these films, now looking back on them, yeah. nothing compares to Goodfellas. Nothing, nothing compares to Goodfellas, nothing compares to Heat. Nothing, nothing compares, compares to Pulp Fiction. Right? Absolutely. The legacy of these films have lasted much longer than Dances with Wolves. 100%. Actually, we should do a video on that. About yeah. like where every year that the Academy got the best picture winner wrong, which is pretty much every single year. I can actually think of a year when I remember the Academy nailing it. And you're right. You know what? Mm. And it, and the fact that, you know, it's so um, stylized heat, mm -hmm. but yet so grounded in reality is what makes it super cool. The lighting, the anamorphic lens that they use, the way L.A. looks. It's always like twilight you, a lot of the you time. You know, L.A. is one of the central characters in the whole film. Absolutely, absolutely. Am I, am I right? Uh, you ain't wrong. And, and, and let's just talk about Michael Mann here a little bit. Yes, because I think the Academy has something against Michael Mann. You've said that. I don't think so. I've, 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 I will dig I've deep. done deep forensic <laughs> yes. research on this. Yes. Which is to say... For about I've, five minutes Which is to say started. I've uh, yeah, researched Wikipedia. Ah, yes. Extensively. What is this so... F anyway, go on. For. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last of the Mohicans uh -huh. was the film that preceded this. <laughs> got, I think, one or two nominations for that. Then comes Heat. He actually got seven nominations for Insider. Yes. Okay. Because people are pissed off. People you probably, think so? Yeah. Probably pissed people off. raised the stink about Heat. So that's why next time he had a film, it got nominated up the wazoo. Did you like Insider? I haven't seen it properly, okay. but no. it's. I mean, I saw half of it. I was like, this is no Heat. It's funny, but it's it, my motherfucking time. It looks a lot like Heat. It does look it a lot like, like Heat, but all of his films kind of look kind the same. Look, Miami uh, Vice Ali, looks the same. Wait, Ali, Ali awful, is, awful. I know, I mean, I know that that as, as stings Ali, you bad. Yeah, it does because Ali is my hero. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and what Will Smith did? Oh, I mean, don't, don't, don't. I'm gonna break something. Okay, fine. I'm gonna break something. Then we've got uh, Collateral. Decent. Good, but not a best picture. No, no, film. no, no, no. Miami Vice, which we both love. Yeah, not, I mean, a, again, not a best picture. None of them. Listen, Public Enemies. Michael Mann's opus is Heat. That Correct. is the pinnacle yeah. of everything he's done. Now, while Except, we're on this, but, but, but. What, what was the prelude to Heat, though? The coolest TV show of all time, overlooked, I think underrated. we're going to talk about LA Takedown, but no, you're not, <laughs> are you? What are you going to talk about? Miami Vice, baby. Miami Vice. Basically, this guy lives and dies for Miami Vice. That's right. And one day, when I get around to watching maybe even one episode, we'll yeah. talk about it, but not now. Uh, anyway, Don Johnson. <laughs> Anyway, so yes, oh, speaking of Miami Vice, yes, I mentioned L.A. Takedown, okay. which was the like, what? It was sort of like the, the student version film of Heat. It's, you know, when people sometimes make a film, they make it like a low budget It was version. made five years, five years before. All right, fine, right. fine, you fine. Can view it, you can view it on YouTube. All right, right and for free. what's it like? It is, how can I describe this? Low budget. No, not just that. Bad. It is... <laughs> uncomfortably destabilizing to watch. Why? Have you not seen it properly? No. So LA Takedown was a pilot that was shot, like a two hour pilot that Michael Mann shot, actually after Miami Vice concluded. It was supposed to be the Miami Vice for the 90s. Okay. okay as a TV show. Okay. And it's actually the exact same story that Heat would- Sure. Adapt yeah, five, yeah, years, yeah, yeah. five years later. And watching it, most people have seen LA Takedown after they saw Heat, mm -hmm. right? Continue. Okay. Part of my checks. <laughs> Go on. Where are you going, motherfucker? <laughs> um, so, to watch it um, is it's looking like a couple of like yeah, um, what's it called drama students? Okay, trying yeah, to, like trying I say, to, low budget student yeah. type thing. And, and they're not actually they're not actually repeating the lines from Heat because they actually did them first. Yeah, which is yeah. so funny. But yeah. that actually is. But a when you watch it retrospectively or after course, the fact, you're of like, course. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but when you watch the diner scene, when you watch any number of scenes, the interactions between the males and the females, between the group of cops, between the group of criminals, mm -hmm. it's just it's 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 disconcerting to watch it. Oh, it, right. looks, it, it, it just it's uncomfortable to watch I'm it. Sorry, I'm you sorry, actually, you feel you actually, disconcerted. You actually, you actually, by LA you, you actually, it's actually you, some some of it is a bit laughable, 
But that actually speaks to the importance of production design, acting, yes. direct, even the direction. Things, things that we have incorporated, obviously, in our, Absolutely. In our channel. Absolutely. Now, the real acid test yes. will be, mm. and I don't know if you know this, but Heat 2 is coming yes. out. Okay. And it's going to be a prequel sequel. So it's like, I think it's... It's uh, the De Niro character and the Val Kilmer character. Okay. You know, you know, 10 years before Heat. Right. 15 years before Heat. And the actors are out. And I think Adam Driver is playing De Niro, which I don't think quite works. No. And then Austin Butler plays Val Kilmer. That's which good. Actually, I like they that. Kind of I like that. The, I like but like, that. they should have gone with somebody like for De Niro, like Oscar Isaac. By the way, I was going to say. something like that. There's a, big, like, there's a big age variance between De Niro and Kilmer. Right. And Whereas now driver, driver and, yeah. and Butler, I don't know. Maybe maybe there is that same variance. In anyway, the age. let's see. Let's I would see. say I would say what De Niro is maybe like seventeen to twenty years older than Val Kilmer. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't By the way, you haven't done any De Niro impersonations. You've only done uh, Patch. There's a flip side to that coin. What if you do got me boxed in, and I got to put you down? Because I will not hesitate, not for a second. Maybe that's the way it'll be. Oh. <laughs> or maybe we'll never see each other again. Um, no. No. Wait, no. I'm done. I'm not done. Got, what are you going to say? For fuck's sake. Go on. <laughs> I thought that was a good, good ending. I have, I, have, I have forever wanted to quote one line. Okay. And to have it be put on celluloid. Tell me. One monologue. Yes. One piece of great, great dialogue that is like heat overall on a macro level but this on a micro level has been overlooked and overshadowed what the hell are you getting what, what, what are you I'm gonna give you babbling this. on about read that Samsung name's Hannah the first name Vincent I smeared this vice sergeant five yards Hannah's all over you he's on all work calls Michael's house your hairless not you they've been losing you at night and the guy's a hot dog lieutenant robbery homicide he took down some heavy crews he blew up Frankie under in Chicago he was a fucking maniac current wife's Justine he's why the extra heat he was working narcotics before then. My vice sergeant says, Hannah likes you. Thinks you're some kind of star. You do this sharp, you do that sharp. Look how sharp this guy is to figure that. Do a small laugh, please. <laughs> Funny, he has a heart attack. Three marriages, what do you think that means? He has to stay home. <laughs> means he's one of those guys Sorry. out there all night, dedicated. With this guy in this much heat, you should pass on the bank. Which this what? With, oh, that's my life. What? Okay. With, <laughs> with this, this guy, and this, this guy, you should pass on the back. Let me get into. It. I'm Voight. I'm Voight. I'm Voight. Oh fuck! You're the new one. You. You're the with this guy. And this. Let's much work the stretch. Hold oh, no, on. Let me just finish. Okay. With this guy and this much heat, you should pass on the back. Now I'm De Niro. Well, I don't fucking know. I said, with this guy, this much heat, you should just pass on the back. You're supposed to say, oh, it's worth the stretch. It's worth the stretch. Neil, this guy can hit. Or miss you can't miss once are you sure I'm sure what do we got bon voyage motherfucker heat you were good <laughs>